Battlefield 1 CTE or the community test environment just released Lepkow Pass to be tested, one of the maps that we'll be seeing coming to in the name of Tassar DLC. But with it came four new melee weapons that we haven't seen before. In my previous video, I showed you guys all the new weapons that are going to be coming, but they didn't show us the four melee weapons, and it seems the devs have held back on these until the community test environment, and it seems rightful, because one of the new melee weapons that we're getting is the Araribo. Now this is actually more of a gadget type of melee weapon. I wasn't able to activate this, but it's a melee weapon with an attached grenade that you could actually use as not only a melee, but also to throw the grenade. To add to it, we're also going to see three other melee weapons, which seem to be simple melee weapons that vary in the class of rank and damage that they do from the coop coop which is a simple large melee knife to the Russian axe, which is simply an axe and also a Russian combat knife. Now, of course, if you want to take part in the CTE and give feedback to the devs or even just try out some of these new cool things, you can apply for it if you already have premium for Battlefield 1. And speaking of premium, there's something really cool coming to Battlefield 1 that's quite similar to premium friends, but it's called premium trials. So now you can play premium for a specific time period. You will be able to play the premium maps that we've seen in the first expansion, as well as a new map that we'll be releasing. So for those of you guys that are going to be hopping in and taking part in premium trials, let's take a quick overview of the maps that you'll be able to play when you hop on on these dates. Starting it off with Swasson. This map, tanks play heavily into the movement of either team's infantry and will influence what points will be contested at any time. There's also going to be vehicle warfare, so be ready for an all-out battle. Rupture is the most open map with an open river in the middle and a bridge that can be destroyed. Scouts have opportunities here to snipe out a few infantry. The map is clustered with hills and trenches, so long range engagements are really tied to only specific areas on the map and different playstyles can be seen here. Keep in mind there's also going to be vehicle warfare on this map, so be ready for another all out battle similar to Soissant. With Fort DeVoe, you're going to be looking at close quarter combat when you're running through the labyrinth inside, whereas the small battlefield outside is filled with trenches and hills connected to them. Sniping is not optimal on this map, so you're going to definitely want to use those close quarter weapons when you're playing on this map as it's only infantry on this battle. The fiery map of Verdun Heights is quite unique as it contains areas for every single class in Battlefield 1 to shine. There's elevation for scouts, mid-range areas for supports, and close quarter combat for assaults, and medics can be useful at any point in this map to help. And keep in mind, this too is an infantry only map, but much larger than Vort de Vaux. Now as we move on to our night maps, Nivel Knights, a map filled with trenches on both sides. So snipers have a powerful play here with their long range battles and their flares will be useful to help spot out the enemy in a very dark map. With hills in between, tanks can be used here and provide a strong playing field for all classes. Finally, the newer map, Prix de Terre, an urban trench setting similar to Amiens, but at night, so it's going to be a really tight area and there's going to be some nice corridors for you to combat people out. This is definitely going to be a map that everybody is going to be looking forward to and you can now be able to take part in it when you play some premium trials. Now, there are some things you need to know as premium trials are very similar to premium friends. The only difference is you can just do it on your own without having to have a friend to hop into premium. Premium trials is a way for you to get in and play some of the premium maps and see what it's like to be a premium pass owner. You might not be able to gain XP while you're playing these premium maps, but it is saved for you so that when you do get premium pass, you'll be able to get all that XP back and not only that, be able to track your progress towards unlocking some of the cool medals or weapons or even the codices that come with the expansions. Now also once premium trials is over premium friends will be active through to gamescom so there's lots of opportunities to play all these awesome premium maps. I should also mention the summer missions. Revolution is coming. A community mission where if you succeed in all three missions you'll receive an exclusive melee weapon the LVC RDD knife. The first mission earning you the first dog tag proving that you've completed it requires you to complete and win three full matches of operations, all happening within July 15th to the 23rd. So this is definitely a time to get in and play on the battlefield to experience some cool maps and also take part in this community environment. Anyway, that sums it up for this video, and if you guys did enjoy it, leave a like down below and comment letting me know what you thought of this video, and if you want to see more videos that give you details of things coming to Battlefield 1, and be sure to click that subscribe button if you're new to this channel, and check out some other videos on screen for more great content, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode.